The summit next week is, is not just important for China. It's not just important for the United States. It's really important for the world. Uh, the fact is, is that China is the largest emitter of greenhouse gas emissions, roughly almost a third of those 28 percent coming from China. Uh, the United States is second behind. So the summit next week is going to be a space, I think, for China and the U.S. to compartmentalize and focus on climate, really for, to deliver sustainability and a renewable energy future for not just the two countries, but really for the planet broadly. Now, Climate Envoy John Kerry is also trying to press China for more commitments to cut emissions. But some say the U.S. is in no position to make demands after walking away from the Paris Climate Agreement under Trump. What are your thoughts on that? Well, look, you know, the reality of going forward, it's got to be one of not just pressuring one side or the other. Really, we've got to think about how we can cooperate and get back together towards delivering really not just for one country, for China or the United States, but delivering for the planet. That's got to be the strategy going forward. And if we're going to do so, it's going to be rooted in cooperation. Really, if we're going to deliver the planet on a sustainable pathway, it's going to take both China and the U.S. working together. And that's something that, you know, fell apart in the last four years under the previous administration. So we've got a really historic uh, uh, opportunity coming forward in the next couple of weeks uh, to put that cooperation path work uh, framework together again. Uh, Michael, I just want to circle back very quickly. You know, you had said earlier that the summit is a chance for both sides to compartmentalize. You know, some saying that the cooperation could be possible um, because it's a separate matter, but is it really, especially when we think of tech rivalries, perhaps overlapping into green technology, and as we know, you know, the tech uh, disagreements are really big right now. Well, this is why I, I, I use the word both compartmentalize and cooperate. We know there's a lot of issues in terms of tech, in terms of Taiwan, in terms of many, many other concerns that the U.S. and China don't see eye to eye on. But there's a real opportunity here, if we can compartmentalize on climate, to really drive and, and, and really kickstart cooperation. I think that's going to be really key going forward. We had a mechanism, the U.S.-China clean energy uh, effort. That, was, uh, that collapsed, uh, there's a time to restart that. There's a time to really bring the two countries together, working to deliver uh, for each other, but also for the globe uh, going forward. It's going to be really important, uh, the cooperation part of that.